Last night was the world premiere of the upcoming horror film, The Seeding. It's about a hiker who gets lost in the desert, finds himself captive to a gang of feral kids. All right, starring in the film is our next guest who has appeared in films such as Jurassic World, Dominion, Venom, Antlers, Child of God. So please welcome to Pick Up More News, Mr. Scott Hayes. Good to see you, Scott. Good to see you guys this morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, this is the movie that's right up my alley. I'm a, I'm a thriller, horror kind of guy. This film premiered last night, so how'd it go? You know, any, anytime you, you make a movie and you get to screen it for people for the first time, yeah. it's, you know, I see people, a couple of people, it was too much for them. Um, but it was really, oh. it was really fun to, you know, you work hard on something and you get to screen it. So it was a great yeah. night. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a tease. It was too it was much too for some much. people in the people. audience. A few people couldn't cover in yeah. their eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it's fine. I understand. It's not, you know. <laughs> so, so we know, set the scene. It's a horror, it's a thriller. So tell us a little bit about the film. Your character gets into a trap, right? Gets into a trap, yes. It's written, you know, it was written by this new director named Barnaby Clay who came from the music video world and he, this is his first film and it's, it's, it's one of the most unique scripts I've ever read, looked at, wanted to be a part of and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a story about a hiker who gets himself in a very precarious situation. Right. Yeah. Well, we, okay, so, you know, we described it as feral kids. Yeah. yeah. So you're just, what, you're just, I mean, without giving too much away. What about the feral kids? Yeah, what about the feral kids? <laughs> like, how do they kind of play into Well, that? I don't want to spoil the movie, but there's a bunch of feral kids, and we found amazing children. You know, I heard feral refer to cats. <laughs> feral yeah, yeah, right. children. Feral well, cats. Trust me, it refers to these children, too. Okay. You know, we found some really unique actors, children all across uh, America. Barnaby casted them, and they really brought the feralness to the, the performance, for sure. <laughs> when you look at your acting history, you mm -hmm. do all these, like, adventurous, crazy-type mm -hmm. roles. So uh, does it reflect your personality? Is that how you are in real life? You know, I find myself, I was, I'm sh shooting this thing in Moab, Utah right now, and I found myself out in the desert. It was, the sun was going down, I had no cell service. And I, I also realized they shot that movie 127 hours right in this area where the event happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, you know, this easily could happen to me under the wrong circumstances. Well, I was going to ask you, so are you a hiker? I love hiking, okay. especially during the pandemic. That's, that's what kept me sane, is going in nature. Alone. Going in nature alone, with friends, just making sure I'm in, you know, not trapped inside my house so yeah. it really I, I love being in nature so I really could relate to this character yeah because I could find myself in that situation for okay. sure well now I'm a hiker too and I go alone I guess I should yeah. oh my gosh I'm watch out for the feralness <laughs> is that uh, why your favorite thing to do in Central Park in New York City is go to Central Park because the, you like need the space I love it I love I try to stay always on Central Park when I'm in town I, I just love the park I think it's beautiful it's one of the most amazing magical places in the world it really is. Yeah. you know what's great about Central Park you know, every time you go there you just discover like a new little Nook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit yeah. that you didn't know. You, it. Just lost you walk the same path mm -hmm. every single day. You're like, wait, it's this last time. Um, you have another wave. You have a wave of projects coming out, by mm -hmm. the way. But I want to highlight one, which is uh, Horizon with with Kevin Costner. Right. What's going on there? Well, you know, it's it's a dream for me to be even touching that material or being, you know, directed and working with Kevin. Mm -hmm. So I know this is something that means a lot to him, and I just feel really grateful and fortunate that, you know, I'm included in in, in the films. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we stalked your social media a little bit. Okay. Mambo Forever? Mambo Forever, Tell yeah. us. Well, you know, I, I, when I was growing up, Kobe Bryant really affected my life. He was sure. somebody that impacted me, and he has this philosophy of Mambo mentality. And it's, you know, you give everything you can to what you're doing, and mm. you leave it all on the court. And just a mentality that I try to bring to everything in my life, whether I'm working or yeah. working on something. It's it's the Mamba mentality. I love I like that. that. And then what about Ahead with Horses? Ahead with Horses is, that's, that's, thank you for asking about that. That's, it's a group that is, I met through my collaborator, Dr. Nancy Kenyon out of Los Angeles. And we, it works with special need children oh. through equine therapy. That's amazing. And it's amazing. Oh, wow. If you put a child on, on a horse and go through a therapeutic process with them, it really can heal them. Some children speak their first words when they're on the horse. Yeah. It's just, it's amazing what equine therapy does. Yeah. yeah. Just animals. I work with a special needs organization and it's amazing the power mm -hmm. of animals and how it brings yeah. out some things that you didn't see before. Exactly. I love that organization. That's, That's so amazing. sweet. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Awesome, Scott. Um, I have to ask, I saw some of the clips in your movie. Did mm -hmm. you have long hair? I did have long hair. Yeah, and I'm doing a, I'm doing a, I just shaved my head. <laughs> I'm doing a film. Oh, this is recent. Yeah, okay. I just shaved my head for this other project I'm doing right now. Yeah. I okay. love it. Oh, wow. thank you. Have you ever done that before? Um, yeah, I did a movie called Thank You For Your Service. Okay. Where I, it was, it was, 
playing a yeah. soldier, you shave your head. I was going to say, you've, you've got a good face with the eyes and stuff, so oh. no hair is like, wow, that's Thank cool. You. Does Thank you justice. You. I appreciate that. All right, sure. All right, Scott, you okay? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Just got lost in the blue. All right. Scott, great to have you here this morning. Thank you. She's a sucker for blue eyes. There you Aww. go. Uh, the next screenings of tickets for his film, The Seating, available exclusively online at TribecaFilm.com. Great to have you here, Scott. Thank you. All right, Thank good you. luck. Best of luck.